what's up scrappy peeps it's an elf minky quill and i have a kit crashes video for you today so this is when i use a subscription kit and i try and get as much out of it as i can this background i actually made when did i make it i think i made it when i did there's a video of christmas and aaron's mum and brothers i think it was might be let the adventures begin or something like that um, and I had excess paint and I just kind of smushed it on a nearby piece of cardstock just because I didn't want to waste it and I'd already slapped some in my used up journal which is where I put extra paint and bits and pieces for art journaling and I couldn't put it on another page because it was wet so I decided to just get a piece of extra cardstock and put some there knowing that I'd use it one day and today is that day so this is a 9 by 12 layout and to start off with I'm kind of just doing some little sprinkles. I've been enjoying these little sprinkles that are coming up in people's um, bullet journals a lot lately and just like little hearts and circles and stars and just little dots. Oh this is the disaster. So I decided to shake my Heidi Shine and it was already open. So I splodged Heidi Shine. It was a very near disaster. We could have had a whole bottle of gold Heidi Shine wasted. It could have been like the layout that I made that was the um, slow mo no disaster. If you're a, a long time inky quill watcher, you'll remember that layout. So I, I, you still can see this big splodge. Um, I couldn't really cover it with the photo because it's not where I wanted it to be with the painty background but I kind of I make it I make it work so this week I'm using the citrus twist February pocket life kit so this is a kit that's designed for pocket scrapbooking for project life but it doesn't just because it says that doesn't mean you have to use it for that so I'm using it for um, a layout here and I'm using some of the 6x12 papers from Crate Paper Chasing Dreams to matte my photo I decided to go for that black and white one just because it kind of was bold and it made the photo stand out a little bit so I'm just going through and I need to find some tissue paper I really love tissue paper I, I think I first started using it after watching um, the beautiful Missy using it in some of her layouts eight, like years ago and I just I really really like the the effect that it it gives it kind of softens everything up a little bit and it's cheap and it's easy to get here in Australia a lot of the time it's so difficult to get um, your hands on these papers because a lot of the online stockers as soon as they come in they're sold out practically the same day so that's why I do like tissue paper I'm just adding some double-sided tape here because it's not easy to use a tape runner when you're using tissue paper not at all this was a different type of gift wrap that I found in my local two dollar shop it's kind of it's clear and it has these white polka dots on it and I really really like it it gives something different that I'm not used to just a little bit of extra something it kind of reminds me of when I went through a big uh, tulle phase a little while ago and it kind of reminds me of the effect that that gave kind of just a little a little spotty flirty little extra something <laughs> so I'm just adding some craft foam here and trying to get away with not using one giant piece of craft foam because that's all the foam I have left I'm trying to make it last as long as I can <laughs> and kind of succeeding kind of so I'm going to stick my photo down here and then work on a little embellishment cluster and I decide to put the embellishment cluster down on that right side because there's a lot of paint there and I wanted to cover some of it up um, because I didn't want it to be too too painty. My other idea before starting this was to use some stenciling in the background but I think I made this when Arch was asleep and I didn't want to use the drying like my air drying gun um, to dry it off and I didn't want to wait. <laughs> so this one there was a little ribbon there that had a bunny on it I think. Did it have a bunny? No there's a oh it's a chipboard piece that has a bunny. Um, but I do end up using some of these bigger pieces just because I don't know the photo isn't a very busy one it's kind of got big subjects and I feel like it's easier to use the bigger embellishment pieces when the photo isn't too detailed um, it's quite easy to see that this is a picture of two bunnies so 
by using these bigger pieces, it just kind of doesn't make it feel so overwhelmed. I, I don't know. I, I guess that's just in my head, but let me know if you agree. Do you find it easier to find to use bigger embellishments when you have a photo that has bigger subjects, like not a really detailed, busy photo? So I decided to use the cut apart sheet and it's got some great little like words and things. And I'm going to balance off all of this happening on the right hand side with just a tiny little cluster up on the left. And I had always intended to do that just to just to balance it off a little bit. So this is one of the tags from the cut apart from the six by six paper pad. And I really enjoy, I enjoy cut apart sheets when they're 12 by 12, but I think I enjoy cut apart sheets more so when they're scaled down to the six by six size. I think it just, I just love small embellishments <laughs> and it's hard to sometimes get your hands on small embellishments. Um, but yeah, I just find them fun to, fun to use. So I do a bit of a wonky title here and I do struggle from memory with the white paint pen. I think I started using the Signo off camera, which is to the right there, uh, and it didn't really work. I'm looking for the perfect quote here. Yeah, here we go. I'm trying to make that work and it was just a bit scratchy. I think I've got something stuck. This is the uh, Uniball Broad White Gel Pen. And I think I've got something stuck in the nib because I had to go over some of the letters a few times to, to make it work. So I'm just adding a little quote here and I really, really love how that looks on the paint. I need to do this more often, even in my art journaling, white scripty font writing on top of a painted surface. It's just really, really pretty. I have to do that more often. Remind me guys, remind me. So I'm just cutting off a little bit there. I love to have my embellishments kind of go off to the side. Um, and I just wanted to add that cluster on the right there. It's just a lot of paper. I wanted to add some things that had some different textures. So I added some of those leatherette stickers and I'm also adding some little glitter hearts just to kind of spice it up a little bit, I guess. Just give it a bit, a bit of something not so flat. I don't really like my layouts to be flat in that. Sorry for my big head there. Um, I don't like my layouts to be very flat with just papery embellishments. I like a bit of a bit of texture and a bit of warmth with the wood veneer as well. So I'm just going through, I have this little container that has all sorts of wood veneer, basically a combination of tiny wood veneer and wood veneer that I have gotten out for something and then being too lazy to put away into my big container. Pretty, pretty much that, let's be honest, that's what it is. Uh, but it does come in handy when I'm looking for little sprinkly clusters now. I use a product that I haven't used before. I bought all of these Nouveau drops after I saw someone online that used them. It could have been, could have been Nicole Jones or Tracy Banks. It was someone used them and they were at a, um, a crop that I went to. So I bought some and I've used them like, I think I've used them once if that, um, but look, I, I do enjoy them. I know that you can, make them on uh, a separate piece of paper like wax paper and then peel them off and use them as enamel dots which I do like. The problem I have with them is getting them to be rounded at the top and not pointy like when you um, you know when you ice a cake you kind of you pull away and it leaves a bit of a tip of the the paint. I hope that makes sense. Um, so I'm trying to learn to swirl it a little bit so it rounds it off, but I, I, I did like them. I, I don't mind them. So you might see those actually get some use again. If you'd like me to do another layout using them, um, if there's something that you've got in your stash and you don't know how to use them, let me know and I will do a little layout for you. Just adding a doodly border here. I love doodly borders because it just kind of brings everything in and kind of makes it so that everything's not just floating around. Um, it just makes it a bit more one unit instead of two different clusters. It kind of brings it all together. Now I do attempt to try and fix that splatter of Heidi Shine to the side there, I think, um, by doing a couple of deliberate big blobs to kind of even it out and also do some on the photo so it doesn't just look like it's spilled, but we all know the truth. 
So I'm all done here and I really like how it worked out. I love that bright, bright turquoise. Um, I think that tube of paint was a Dina Wakely heavy body acrylic in turquoise. It's just such a beautiful color. So thanks for watching today, guys. And don't forget to please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, and I will see you all very, very soon. I really, really need to do more painted backgrounds. I need to dig my paint out. I do, I do, I do. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.